channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. So tonight I've got something cool to show you guys. This is the Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla Deluxe three figure box set <laughs> from Mezco. And it just came in, so I thought we would take a look at it. This is the box. Some cool artwork there on the side. The uh, movie poster there on the top. Here's everything you Here's everything you get. Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and King Caesar. All right, let's open this up. get them out of their plastic prison. Okay. Let's look at Godzilla first. Now this is when, in the Showa series, this is when Godzilla was full-blown little kid superhero mode. And you know what's funny is, well, first off, this is a cool figure before I start rattling off stuff. But what's cool is, and what's kind of weird is, um, when you're a little kid and you watch these, you think, you know, they're, they're amazing. And, uh, you're just fascinated by it. You can't get enough of it. At least that's how it was for me. Um, and then you get to like your high school days and you start looking back at stuff like this. You know, and you kind of get those thoughts of like, man, that's kind of, those were kind of cartoony looking. Like Godzilla looks kind of like Cookie Monster, you know. And then in, uh, in my 20s, I found the Heisei Godzilla. And, you know, he's no fucking around. He's very serious and very mean looking. And I sort of, you know, latched onto that. And that was, that was real Godzilla. That was serious Godzilla, you know? And then the older you get, you start looking back at the little kid stuff. And um, then you start yearning for that sort of Godzilla also. Like, I, I will always love the Heisei Godzilla. Um, and yes, I like a more serious Godzilla, but, um, it's funny how it, how, uh, you know, you're so, you want to grow up so quickly and you want to sort of like, not really shun the things of childhood, but you sort of look down upon them like, oh, well, those were inferior. Those were sort of silly, you know, he looks like a big fucking Muppet. But I'm telling you, the, the older you get, the more you realize, well, there's, 
you know, there's enough room in there so that you can have your, you can have your serious, you know, um, engine of destruction, Godzilla. And you can have your Muppet Cookie Monster looking Godzilla too. It's all good. Like I said, I never stopped liking the sillier stuff. It's just, um, it's an acquired taste, you know? You have it, you have that taste when you're a little kid. And when you get older, you sort of like have to rediscover that taste. This is the open mouth. This is the, the mouth that you can put the uh, atomic breath in. That's a pretty cool looking face. Now see, if you guys saw my Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster Mezco box set, I bitched that they didn't have another Godzilla head. Um, so the Godzilla only came with that one head with the beat up eye, and they should have did this given him another head this one's cool so there's godzilla yeah i have been a godzilla fan since i was a little kid and um like i was saying once i hit my 20s and i discovered the the Heisei Godzilla, probably around 1989 with the um, Godzilla vs. Biollante. So I was 19 years old then. And, you know, th that was like a serious Godzilla. That made Godzilla um, not so juvenile in my mind. But it's funny. This is a beautiful looking Mecha Godzilla. Holy shit. It's funny that the the older you get, the silly childhood stuff doesn't seem so silly. Or or you know, you can you realize that you can you can have both. You can Wow, this is a really cool looking little figure. Holy shit. The detail on him is pretty awesome. He's sort of dirty, you know, like the suit was. He's got his missile fingers. And um, this one comes with an alternate head. Whoops. Sorry, MG. Um, <laughs> look at his the missiles in his mouth. That's his tongue. Is uh, some missiles. Well, I wish he didn't have those big holes in his eyes, but that's to attach the um, laser beams. I guess I like this head better because the eyes don't have that big old holes in them. Yeah, I I hope I didn't come across like I was shitting on the older Godzilla stuff because, you know, I am I. Uh, a Showa fan through and through. I love the older Godzilla movies more than any of the other movies. Um, and I don't want it to come across like I'm looking down on them. I'm just saying that, <laughs> you know, if you look at this and you look at GMK or you look at, um, you know, Godzilla versus Biollante, th you know, this definitely looks silly he's got his his big googly um 
If I want some cookies. You know, he, he looks like Cookie Monster. Um, and that's all I was saying is that this was during the time when Godzilla was definitely geared for children. And you know, when you when you hit those high school years and you start trying to think of yourself as being a grown up and you you kind of look down a little bit upon some of the stuff you enjoyed as a younger child. Um like, I never looked down upon those movies, but I definitely realized that these these latter incarnations of Godzilla were definitely um, silly looking. But, um, I love the silly looking Godzilla. She saw... <laughs> Wow, this is a really cool figure. He looks just like a big Okinawan lion dog. Look at his tail, it's like, kind of like fire. Now, which head do you guys like better? Do you like the, um... There's this head, and and then the, if you go uh, seesaw, you want a treat? And he goes, what? <laughs> Look at his ears. Oh, they got a hole in this eye. That's to shoot out his uh, puppy laser. I could take some cool photos of King Seesaw battling Baragon, like a a battle of the two kaiju puppies. Yeah, the ears up are cool, but I think I like I think I like this one. The who's a good boy <laughs> face. So, I recommend this set, guys. I mean, I'm not, I'm not through showing you guys stuff, but I just want to say I recommend this set. I don't know how much longer Mezco is going to have the rights to do Godzilla stuff. Um, they put out all these box sets, and I have, I have all of them except for the Mothra set. I fucked up and didn't get the... Um, the Mothra box that comes with the two twin fairies, the peanuts, the Shobajin. I did not get that one. Ah, oh, now I'm kicking myself for not getting it. But I own the two Destroy All Monster sets. I own this set. I own the Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster set. And then I also picked up the, the um, Ultraman and Red King um, little box set. I know that's not Godzilla, but it's sort of Godzilla adjacent. Anyway, so I picked all of those up, and I still have my eyes open for the Mothra set. I picked up the Mezco Ultimate Super Duper Godzilla with the lights and sounds. Um, maybe you guys saw my video about that. And all that's left on Mezco's slate are those, <clears throat> um, shit, what are they called? They're like the Mezco 112 version of Godzilla, except I don't think it's called part of the 112 line. I think it's called something else, Kaiju something. Um, I probably won't pick those up. Um, I have the Mezco 112 Alien, Giger's Alien. And I do not really care for that seamless rubber body. Not at all. Um, 
The alien is sculpted incredibly well, but as far as longevity goes, I don't know how long that's going to last before the rubber dries and cracks and you start to see the metal armature underneath poking out. I try not to handle that thing too much. I have him in sort of one neutral pose and I kind of leave him alone. And I bring him up because the Godzillas that they're going to be making are the same. They're going to have metal armatures and rubber skin. And I don't think I'm going to fuck with those. I think I'm going to let those pass. Um, Mezco has not announced any other Godzilla product. They came out with these five point sets. They came out with the super duper ultimate Godzilla. And they announced those rubber skinned um, Godzillas. And at first I was tempted to pick them up. I actually did pre-order the 1954 one, but then I canceled the pre-order. The more I the more I played with the alien figure, then I sort of uh, had second thoughts about the Godzilla. Anyway, that's just a long-winded way of saying you guys should pick these up because I don't know how much longer Mezco is going to have these Toho Godzilla licenses. I don't I don't see any more product on the horizon. At least they haven't announced. They haven't announced any. Maybe at you know, maybe at the at Toy Fair coming up or maybe they'll make some announcement that they're going to do something else with the licenses. But just in case this is it, this is the end of the road for their Godzilla. Um, it was a really good run. I really enjoy everything they made. That ultimate Godzilla is fan-fucking-tastic. And um, all these little five points box sets, have they're just so much fun. These are the Godzilla toys I would have killed for as a little kid. Are you kidding me? Look at these things. They look dead on, screen accurate. They're, you know, just right size. You know, if you were a little kid, this thing would be a, um, this would be, a, you know, not so small of a figure. I mean, in your, in your grown up hands, they're, you know, they're about the size of an old school Star Wars figure, like four inches tall. But, you know, if you were a little kid, these things would feel a lot bigger and chunkier. These would have definitely been some favorites. <sighs> yeah, they're just hand candy. After you pick them up, you don't want to put them down. Okay, let's look at their accessories. God damn, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I have not opened this up yet, guys, so. Bear with me. Oh, that's cool. Look at this, guys. So this is, um, that's the little trap door in Mechagodzilla's chest. Oh, let's, let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. It's, it looks like the little door, you know, opened up. <laughs> that's fucking badass. Doom, 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 doom. that's cool i like how the little door looks like it you know opened up that's cool all right 
What else do you got, Mecha Godzilla? Okay, he's got some alternate hands that look like he's firing off his missile fingers. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's cool. They're different. I mean, not just left and right. I mean, he's firing off different missiles. That's cool. All right. I'm telling you, these little Mezco sets are a lot of fun. They really did a good job with these things. Oh, okay. Where's that alternate head? Um, let's plug his... chest cavity thingy back up yeah let's pop off his head pop on the open mouth one man I really don't like those holes in his eyes those look kind of crazy but they are there so that these cool ass like rainbow lasers um, can go into his eyes That's sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, what else do you got? Oops. Um, okay, I guess that's it for Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, and this. This clear to blue laser, which looks uh, an awful lot like the laser, the spacium ray they used for their Ultraman. That one will go here in King Seesaw's. There you go. That's kind of cool. Oh, let's lay you know what fuck it let's recreate that scene where um godzilla and mecha godzilla are both zapping each other you know they're like going back and forth with their lasers and then it's so powerful it like explodes <laughs> they even recreated that in the uh, heisei godzilla versus mecha godzilla they recreated that scene Okay, so we put in the the open mouth. Nice blue atomic breath. Let's see, can you guys see? He's got a uh, got a hole in the back of his head there. And it's going shh, shh, boom. Okay, well, it's not exact, but <laughs> anyway, this is a neat little set, guys, and um. I definitely recommend picking one of these bad boys up. Um, they are sold out at Big Bad Toy Store. I think Entertainment Earth still has them. Um, I think Amazon has them. 
But yeah, big bad toy store, no moss. But um, yeah, wherever you can find them, you guys should buy one if you can. They're a lot of fun and lots of detail. And like I've said in some of the other Mezco videos, um, these aren't going to be around for very long. I don't see Mezco keeping the Godzilla license for a long time. That Toho is notorious for expensive licenses and you got to license every single character and I just don't I don't I don't know if they're selling enough product to keep to keep going with all the licensing fees so this might be it and if it is uh, if it's if this is it you guys should jump on these before they're gone I am super glad I own these. Holy shit, this video is like 30 minutes long. God damn. Sorry, guys. I didn't know it was going to be that long. I guess I'd just been running my mouth and playing with these things. Anyway, they come with three uh, stands also. Big one for Godzilla, probably. And um, two more. So all three of them can have nice little stands to stand on. I'm going to end this video. I didn't know it was that long, but... Yeah, I'm just running my mouth, playing with toys, and filming it at the same time. So, anyway, highly recommended. Pick these up. Fun little monster toys. Alright, guys. Take it easy, and happy Halloween.